everybody welcome to another video so today we're having a little look at the chinese nve the nve in 1.3 and we're putting it up against the devilbis dv1 with the c1 cap now the reason is quite obvious really to when you're putting these two or when i'm putting these two together in my head, I'm always thinking of what would compete with what for whatever reason. Normally, it's a similar sort of price. Uh, you know, they sell for a similar price to each other. Uh, the case of this is quite obvious in that they one is a loose copy. To say copy isn't right. Um, there are some genuine copies, as far as I know, where they've tried to copy everything. But this is a loose copy it sells a lot cheaper it doesn't claim to be a dv1 but it's certainly styled on a dv1 takes its styling from the dv1 so of course logical thing to me is to see what's it perform like compared to a dv1 so that's exactly what we're doing uh for those new to the channel then a warm welcome and if you've been with us a while just as warm a welcome um I mainly do bike stuff, motorcycle stuff, uh, well, and cycle stuff sometimes, but I mainly do motorcycle stuff. So I've got a couple of panels. Uh, I do do some car stuff, but it's not often, to be fair. I haven't really got the facilities. But I've got a couple of pa car panels, uh, and I like pitting one against the other because in my book, if you're going to compete, compete, sorry, have two things competing against each other, it's got to be on a level playing field. So it's got to be the same temperature, Painter in the same frame of mind. By that, I mean you've got to be on the same day. We all have off days. Um, same clear coat. Same, everything exactly the same apart from the gun. So that's the idea of doing these things. Uh, and people seem to like them. Now, I actually quite like doing them because you get a... Uh, when, you, when you're using a spray gun and you're, do, you know, you're doing whatever you do, you know, doing your, in my case, your bike stuff and that, and just getting on with what people want, etc. You you tend to have sometimes a, um, a, a glossy look at, at something, and you think, oh, I remember I used that, uh, the DV1 with a C1 cap, and it was a really great gun, uh, much better than this thing, whatever it may be that you're using. Um, and, and, when you come back to them sometimes, it's normally the opposite way, to be fair, but when you come back to them sometimes, it doesn't quite seem to be as good as you remember it, which is why I think you've got to do a comparison like this on the same day, everything being the same, because you do get a little bit uh, dreamy about something sometimes and, and a bit harsh on other things sometimes. So this is the way I do it, and, um, yeah, it seems to work for us. So, the as I say, the, the logical thing to pick this against is the dv1 with the c1 cap now the difference in price between these two is, is huge um you'll pay at the moment if you look on aliexpress that's the place i would suggest you get one of these mve ones if you want one uh because they tend to be cheaper people who put them on ebay are often resellers so they've obviously got to make their bit of margin uh, and they also presumably use lose a certain percentage to ebay uh, and i'm guessing you just don't use lose as much as a seller on aliexpress i don't know but the, but the place i would buy it from is aliexpress about 75 us dollars at the moment so they're actually really good value compared to some of the other um, copy guns. They're they're actually they're actually quite good. Uh, they feel pretty good to use. They don't feel particularly cheap and nasty in the hand, which some of the things can do. For example, the GTI Pro Lite copies. I've had three of those different ones of those, and they all feel a bit bit heavy, a bit not quite there and you have to do the tips up quite tight because they don't seal properly and etc etc and i haven't got i haven't had that with this one uh having said that what it isn't is it isn't a devilbis dv1 uh it, it it's as i say it's the the better of the chinese guns that i've tried that is is uh, oh, is are relatively cheap and trying to be maybe you know look like something else so it's not actually a bad gun uh, i've since found a few guns that are around this price range and some cheaper that i would actually pit probably against it then the 4000 i bought which is 
it's supposed to be a copy of a SATA 4000, uh, a new N Tools 4000. That's been a really good gun. I'll get a, a review of that up. But certainly, if you're looking at this and the GTI Pro Lite, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, I will do a, a, com, uh, a video to compare the, uh, the MVE and the Pro Lite. But as I say, the, the logical thing to do is compare it with the, the DV1. So what you'll notice about the DV1, when you see the spray out in a minute, you'll notice that the, the fan is actually more dense. Uh, as I said, I went with a C1 cap, and what you'll find, and I'll try and remember to put a link to in the description to all this, but I did a standalone test on the MVE, I did a boxing on the MVE, and that will show you a bit more of a physical comparison to the DV1, which will help you understand this video a bit better. So I'll put those a link in the description for those. And I'll also put a link of um, comparing the C1 and C2 caps on the DV1 so that you can see the difference between the two. So going with the C1 cap, what you'll find is it's a fair bit slower than the C2 cap. But I went with the C1 in this video to compare these two because when you physically look at the, the two caps together, it looks... As, as close to the NVE cap as possible. So I was trying to get something that, uh, you know, would 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 be most comparable, for want of a better set of words. Something that would be, you know, the logical thing to do. So uh, these two caps look very, very similar, but you'll, you'll see when you see the spray out in a minute of the uh, the genuine DV1, that it's a, it's a it's a thicker pattern and there's a bit more material comes out both of these are 1.3 so in theory they should be quite comparable so as I, as i said before you're not getting a dv1 the dv1 does give you more control it does give you uh, a slightly flatter finish if that's what you're after but it is also probably about 6 700 us dollars about 550 well this is a digital version so it's actually probably more than that so you're talking about something that's eight or nine times more than the nve and of course it's nowhere near eight or nine times better uh, but it is a better tool as you would expect so the trade-off for all that money it is is just a little bit more control and a slightly better finish. Although the NVE, uh, I use both of these at two bar. And when I say two bar, the DV1 is a digital gun. So two bar at the base is actually 1.5 on the digital gauge because the digital gauge is at the top. So it's actually, it's effectively used some pressure, if that makes sense, for the gate gauge to read but 1.5 at the top on the dv1 a digital dv1 is exactly equivalent to two bar at the base and that's what i use the nve nve on as well if you bump the nve up to 2.1 or 2.2 you'll find that you actually get a really really good finish with it, it, it it's not quite as comparable to the the dv1 with the c1 cap but it's not far off it. So certainly if you're thinking about uh, buying one of these guns, I would say, you know, go ahead with it uh, because they they are really good value for money. Um, they, as I say, they haven't got the, the, they don't feel as cheaply made as the uh, GTI Pro Lite copies. So you do get something that, that feels better in the hand it feels more balanced as well. The the GTI Pro Light copies feel a bit front heavy, really, especially when you've got a full pot on top. If you've got a full 600 milliliter pot. It does feel a bit heavy at the front, whereas this seems to be much more balanced. Um, and you'll see here, you'll see the two uh, spray out. So the, on the left is the fake, on the right is the, well, I say fake, is the NVE. On the right is the genuine DV1. And you'll see that the pattern, as I say, is a bit thicker. It, it's slightly higher as well, but that's not, you know, the be-all and end-all, really. Um, and this is the C1 cap, as I say. With the C2 cap, you actually get a slightly bigger pattern um, and a wetter pattern as well, because it just flows a lot more air. The, the actual air consumption of both of these is, is very, very similar. The MVE probably uses slightly less but neither of them are loads 
about 10 or 11 CFM. So if you've got a small compressor at home, both of these will be quite taxing for the compressor. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's horses for it's horses for courses. As I say, I was actually really pleased with the MVE when I first got it and I started using it. I thought it's actually not a bad gun at all, really, for the the sort of money you pay for it. When they first come out, you were talking about 120 uh, US dollars on AliExpress, but they've slowly come down, as with all this stuff. Uh, I mean, the, the copy GTI Pro lights used to be about 70, 80 uh, US dollars on there, and now they're around 50 US dollars. Uh, but it's definitely worth the extra 25 US dollars on top of the... Um, fake pro light and as i say i'll get a, a video up uh, comparing those two so that you can get a better idea but yeah it's certainly worth the money although you're not as i say you're not getting a a, a dv1 you can see here that the dv1 they are actually relatively slow with the c1 cap it is relatively slow um i don't notice much difference to be honest but a lot of people have said to me that the C1, well, a few people have said to me that the C1 definitely gives a slightly flatter finish. More like the T110 on the Devilvis uh, Techna GTI Pro Lite, whereas the, the C2 cap is more like the TE20. But as I say, I'll put a link in the description and you can see um, comparing those two more. But here's the final results anyway with the DV1. Both of these perform really, really well. If you're, if you're thinking of doing a respray at home, or you just got some panels to do at home, and you're not thinking about taking it up as a a career or a, a you know a, a hobby or anything like that, and you just want something to get the job done, then nothing wrong with the NVE at all. It should last you reasonably well. I don't think it's going to last for ages, to be fair, but it should last you reasonably well. Um, if you look at the other video, as I say, I'll put a link in the description, you can see the physical differences between these two. So it's not just a, a difference of uh, actual spraying. The actual, there are quite a few physical differences. Virtually no parts are interchangeable. Uh, but you see there that the pattern is, is much more even and uh, a very nice pattern on the DV1, to be fair. Now, that's the uh, NVE on the right-hand side. There's a slight run top right-hand corner. You can see there's a slight run. That's not the gun's fault. That's my fault. This is a U-pole clear coat, um, which doesn't flow out the best, and you really do have to get it on to get a, a reasonably flat finish. So that's not working with it. But the DV1 handled it perfectly well, which is what I was saying about the control, really. You do get more of a more control with the uh, the genuine uh, De Vilbis gun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and me rambling on with my little, uh, my little thoughts. And thanks for watching as always. And you keep watching them and I will keep them coming. If you uh, are enjoying the videos, maybe think about giving us a like, and think about giving us a, uh, a subscription because it does help us bump up um, the UPOL ratings. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>